The CC has only just told Ripple Labs that if they don't agree to a settlement, they will fight the ruling that XRP is not a security, which they won in court. This is the settlement that was offered to Ripple Labs in person in Ripple City at Brad Garlinghouse. It's worth more than $103 million, and Ripple would have to pay it in exchange for a $100 million settlement that ends the case for good. The SEC has also dropped its case against Ethereum, and there are hints that the Ripple CC lawsuit for XRP could also be dropped if a settlement is reached. We're going to talk about everything, including an article that says the SEC is now forcing Ripple to settle the XRP lawsuit, and that a settlement meeting between Ripple and the SEC could happen on June 27, 2024. Uh, this would end the lawsuit for good and put a price on XRP that is over $10.28, eight hours. In fact, by tomorrow, XRP may already be at $10.28, eight. They decide they want to make the settlement talks public, which are probably already happening. We're going to go into all the specifics right away, so get ready, because your XRP could make you a millionaire in the next few days. Guys, before you watch this video, we have to let you know that they are hosting a huge XRP giveaway. Yes, we are giving away free XRP to everyone who watches this video. To be eligible, just hit the like button, subscribe to the channel with your personal information turned on, and share this video as usual. Also, you have to subscribe and sign up for Uphold using my link in the description and make a transaction. The transaction could be as small as $1 or as large as $100. As long as you signed up for Uphold using my link in the description and made a transaction, you'll get up to $100 to get that bag and earn more XRP. Before the master boron happens and the price of XRP goes up to $2012 or even $100. So with that out of the way, let's watch the movie. Things are changing between Ripple Labs and the SEC. All of this is going on behind closed doors as Ripple has been given a new settlement deal. Today is the CC's third or fourth settlement deal that they have really been trying to get Ripple to accept. This time things got very serious, so much so that the SEC has started to force and threaten Ripple Labs to go ahead and possibly appeal the judge's decision that XRP is not a security if they don't agree to the deal. This comes after, of course, Ripple turned down the first settlement offer from the SEC, which said they wanted $2 billion in exchange for a deal. Now, they've changed their minds and now only want $103 million for a deal. Um, when Ripple made a counteroffer, they gave them $10 million instead of $2 billion. They were turned down, so they made this last bid. What does this mean? What's going on? That means the case is almost over. It is clear that the SEC is ready to talk and work with Ripple Labs, and they are willing to greatly lower the penalties they had planned for Ripple. Now that things are getting really serious, we can see that the SEC needs Ripple to agree very badly. That's why they've chosen to threaten to maybe appeal, even though they don't have security status. The Supreme Court also dropped its lawsuit against Ethereum, which shows that they are once again trying to clear the air. Most importantly, Mr. Gary Gensler is afraid that he might lose the next election. Biden will certainly lose the election, and Gary Gensler will no longer be in the running. Even now, Biden is likely to force Gary Gensler to resign if he sees a drop in votes from crypto voters, going ahead with their choice that they no longer want to vote for Biden. Uh, so this is why the SEC is suddenly changing its mind and trying to get rid of these crypto lawsuits faster than ever before. In fact, a settlement meeting is set for June 27th, 2024. So keep that in mind as you look at this. Of course, we need to look at what is being talked about. And it says that the closed meeting will cover the following topics, start and end of injunctive action, start and end of administrative proceedings, resolution of litigation claims, and other things connected to the enforcement and examination procedures. It will happen at 2 p.m. on Thursday, June 27th, which means at the end of the Ripple South Carolina lawsuit and deal could be made public in about a week. When you look at it, Ripple has been teaming up with more and more organizations faster and faster and faster. In fact, it is one of the newest huge world institutions. Apple has officially chosen to work with Ripple to build a blockchain-based payment system that could use XRP in their digital wallet. In fact, this story from June 11th says that Ripple and Apple work together to make the tap to pay feature for iPhone transactions possible. There's also this which has been released many times and that I've seen everywhere. It's very different from Grapple and looks a bit like Apple, but it has the Ripple logo and is a shared project between Ripple and XRP. Apple. Ripple Labs and the XRP digital asset are, of course, growing very quickly. This is because more and more people are using them. In fact, every phone will have XRP displayed in some way and used in some way through a digital wallet. Well, the amount of XRP that is available will go down a lot, while the amount that is being used will go up a lot. This will cause the price to go up a lot. For XRP, and since we're talking about XRR, XRP, um, you should all go to Metal. Talking about XRP, you should all go to MetalCrypto.com and get your best Metal XRP Ripple token. I do have a few of these guys, including the Ripple XRP pumping glass phone keys, which I think look great. You can find them all on metatrader.com. They also sell a lot of other cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin. You can get XRP socks and hoodies, and the prices are very good. For example, to switch to USD currency, it costs about $14. With it, you get your own unique XRP coin. For just $14.58, can also get a really nice glass phone case. Really, guys, you should check this out. It is a great time to buy it.
Because if you talk about XRP potentially pumping to $10 or $20 if you hold on to the physical XRP coin for two days longer and it pumps up during that time, you'll probably make millions more than what you spent. Therefore, you spend $20 to possibly make $100,000, not a million dollars, since it will help you hold on to something longer. It's also a physical thing. You can still get the Ripple XRP coin with the case. It might not have a case. There's a case in this shop. But I don't think it comes with one. You can get it by itself if you want to. However, the idea behind this is that you can actually get a nice coin that will always remind you of how much XRP is worth. Yes, XRP could be worth 50 cents or 48 cents right now, but what it really means is that it will help facilitate all of the world's wealth, or even 20 to 30 trillion dollars. A CEO said that by 2025, the XRP system alone would help facilitate 30 to 50 trillion dollars. For that to happen, the price of XRP would have to be over 10,000 dollars, which is what Ripple's co-founder Arthur Brittu said. This means that in two months, XRP could be worth more than $266. Keep this in mind as you consider the difference between its current price and its real potential price during the coming bull run. And don't forget that the XRP ledger is something I think is very important. It is becoming more and more useful. As you can see, I did some study and found that a new token called DeFi Payments or DPay token is about to release. It's the first XRP ledger credit card and it's expected to handle over $1 trillion by 2025. Right now, it's not the first step of building. This is a token that I chose to put in myself. That's why I bought some deep pay bits. And of course, I'm not giving you business advice. She always does our work. These are the places where we look at the XRP record. I'm not telling you to buy anything. The XRP system is being used for more and more things. We've seen the CTF coin, which is the first passive income token on the XRP ledger. That means there is only one DeFi token on the ledger. That is, we said, hey, look, we bought it when it was cheap. It got bigger and is still getting bigger. So we're constantly and gradually building up. Now we see DPay token, which is another utility based token. It's in pre-select right now. The idea behind this is that they expect a huge rise in volume for both the XRP ledger and DPay as more people use the DPay coin. But the idea is that more and more money is flowing into XRP and the XRP and the XRP ledger every time DPay promotes, every time DPay does a transaction, or every time someone uses the XRP ledger credit card. It also means that the XRP token will be burned and that more people will want to buy it. For this reason, I've decided to accumulate as much DPay as I can, both because I think it has a lot of uses and because every time I accumulate DPay and it does a transaction or something happens, it has a direct effect on the price of XRP. Uh, this means that every time someone uses the XRP ledger card that DeFi payments will release, hopefully they didn't give away the date yet. They are actually driving up the value of my XRP. I'm making money because both DPay and the XRP ledger, P ledger, Udger, are going up and XRP is ahead of the XRP ledger. Because of this, it's really interesting to see how everything is connected and how the XRP system has been put to more use.